Welcome to Science Academy. I'm Denj and this is the second part of my GNU plot tutorial. Today we will learn how to add error bars to your graph and also recap how to fit nonlinear functions through your data. So let's start. So we start with having a look at today's data that we want to visualize. So I again open the GNU plot course folder. Here's the data. I've chosen today data for, for, uh, from some intensity measurement with, uh, with a Geiger-Müller uh, detector. So we have different absorber thicknesses and the uh, counts per second um, as the detector measured them. And now we will just create our GNUplot script text file, which we then can load again into GNUplot. Um, we can edit it again with any editor, text editor you like. I like notepad plus plus. So, and the first line again should be the CD change directory into the current folder. So I just copy and paste this into the new plot script. And then, yeah, this is will be rather quick because we already learned all of that in the first episode of this new plot tutorial. So we set the grid, we set a uh, range for the axis. For this, I will have to have another look in the data. So the X range might look fine if we go from, let's say zero to five, for example, and the Y range from zero to 1,100 maybe, because of course there should be some space for the error bars today. So then we uh, create labels for the axis. So X label would be in this case the absorber thickness in um, millimeters and the Y label would be oh, label there was, was a short mistake there so the Y label will be the counts per second from the Geiger Miller detector right so this should be all yeah, uh, this sh should be known already from the first tutorial. So now we have our exponential decay curve. So some constant times exponential curve with a minus sign where the mu here uh, is the constant that says how quick this curve will sink to zero. So we have to set again some start parameters. So the A should be something is the zero uh, the y crossing should something around thousand and the mu should be yeah is a ln two over the mu is a half time so it's around one let's say 0.5 the starting value uh, just have to be in the range of the end value of course you don't have to know the fitted value before you even try the fit so just think about the order of magnitude here now we uh, fit f from x to the data txt using the first and second row via the three parameters a and mu. So this will fit an exp exponential function. And then again, what you already know, we set a terminal type to png with the defined size, which is not too small, but not too big in file size. And then we set the output file to whatever file name we want to have it be in the end. So in this case, let's call it x-ray absorption, absorption.png, right? And now we just need our plot command for uh, that GNUplot will execute um, and and uh, yeah create this file. So plot the function f from x with the title x-ray absorption. Uh, now we have only the fit function, so we need also to plot the data itself. Let's just give it a color as we already learned. So line type RGB red. And now let's fit the data points, data txt, of course, in parentheses, and then using one, two, 
and let's make it a bit bigger here that you can see everything. Let's again give it no title. We already have a title uh, in the fit function and ma let's make it also red. So you see that belongs together. And here we have a defined point type. This is just yeah, how the points will look in the end. So if they are circles or if they are squares or whatever. Um, those are just small circles. You can uh, also look this up in the GNU plot um, documentation on their web page. I can open the documentation for another part we want to look at now, which is the error bars in GNU plot. So they, uh, uh, as stated here, there are different types you can use to add error bars. The easiest part is just to either have it in the file as a th um, third and fourth row, or to just add it to the plot command like a delta. So what we can do is not just type using one and two, to plot it, but we can extend this one two with the X and Y error bars we want to add. And for this, we have to add the command with X, Y error bars. So Gnupod knows that the third and fourth row are the error bars it should use. And now, for example, so we can put the delta X error, so plus minus x error and plus minus y error just as a value in this or we can also do some math again with the rows so when we say okay x was our um, absorber thickness so let's just make it um, tenth of a millimeter then this will be our constant error with the tenth of a millimeter here one times ten to the minus four and for the counts per second we always have the counts and then the square root of the counts as the absolute error. So plus minus the square root of the counts. So row two to the one half is the square root of the values of row two, right? So the one dot is just because uh, Gnupot wants an, um, doesn't want an integer there. So Let's again just execute this file in GNU plot. You see again here the plotting parameters for, uh, the, yeah, for the fitting parameters for A and mu with a, as a, with a asymptotic standard error. And now you can look in the graph and this is again a really nice graph. You have error bars in X and Y direction. If you zoom into, you can see it a bit better. You can, if you want, you can make the points even smaller for that. And yeah, this is the end of this re video. You now again, we recapped how to fit this nonlinear function through the data and how to add error bars to our data. And if you want to have a look on the different options you have to how to set error bars, just open the documentary I just showed you. If you want to have a logarithmic scale, for example, of the y-axis, so you end up with a a linear function, then you can just add a set log scale y or set log scale x y, for example, if you want a double log logarithmic scale. Um, this is really easy in just one line. So yeah, I hope you have a great day. Let's see you soon. That's it from my side.